of 2010, the Minister of Health agreed with my constituent and I that doctors' diagnostic billing codes listing sexual orientation under mental illness was unacceptable. But those billing codes are in use in exactly the same place and say the same things today. All that happened was reference to them was removed from public websites and information. So my question to the Minister of Health and Wellness is, tell me why are those exact same diagnostic billing codes still in use in this province today, listing sexual orientation counselling under mental illness? The Honourable Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, I thank the Honourable Member for the question. And uh, while I won't have a lot to offer in terms of a detailed answer, would I, and I would be happy to look into it and get back to her, what I can tell the Honourable Member is that the government does not uh, on its own set billing codes. Uh, there are a variety of factors that come into play, including the role of, uh, of our physicians, including research that informs these decisions. However, I do want the Honourable Member to know I have a significant uh, degree of uh, sympathy for the concern that she has raised, and I will look into it. The Honourable Member. That's what the last minister said, but we'll give this one a chance. Um, even given the laborious process, I'm sure, to work this out with the Alberta Medical Association and other physicians that use the billing codes, shouldn't the government show leadership and do the right thing, change those billing codes? The Honourable Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, as I said, I, I would like the opportunity to look into this in a bit more detail and get back to the Honourable Member. There are a number of ways that new billing codes or amended billing codes can be initiated in the system. It is not a decision that the government makes on its own. Uh, uh, physicians have an opportunity to influence new and modified billing codes, as do other entities. I'd be pleased to look into this process and get back to the Honourable Member. The Honourable Member. Okay, well, back to the same Minister. What I am seeking here is a commitment to action. Uh, because I don't think, or perhaps the Minister could comment, on whether removing the diagnostic billing codes from public view solved the issue of the government and physicians coding sexual orientation as a mental illness. I don't think it did. It was just hidden. The Minister's response? The Honourable Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, I don't have any knowledge of uh, how or when the billing codes appear in the public domain and when they don't. What I will tell the Honourable Member is that I would agree with her uh, that simply uh, changing uh, uh, where the billing codes are publicly available does not address the issue that she has raised. I'd be pleased to look into it. The Honourable Member